Hey everybody, welcome back. It's great that you have joined me today and thank you for showing up and taking part yesterday as well. As you know, we are focused in on how to create a unique premium offer that attracts your A-list clients, sells like hotcakes, and powerfully impacts more people's lives and gives you a day back a week. Now, who is going to say no to taking a day back a week to finally stop the hustling, get focused in on working with your very best clients and also having some time to relax as well. I realize that I'm looking at the wrong <laughs> camera. <laughs> So this is a step-by-step -step guide to help you identify, create, and sell your unique premium coaching programs quickly and easily, regardless of where you are starting from. And it's going to be perfect for you if you're a coach, a speaker, an author, a leader, and you want to focus more time and energy working with people or organizations or businesses one-to-one -one in small group immersions and VIP intensive. So we're looking at the premium end of the market. Here we are. Welcome back. I just wanted to go over a few things from yesterday's training, which was all about how to how to create a message that calls in your A-list clients before your life coaching or coaching business. If you haven't watched the training, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it on the website. So go ahead and make sure you do look at that before Saturday because I'm going to remove the videos on Saturday. I just wanted to give you enough time to catch, catch up, digest the information. So make sure you go back and have a look at that video because the messing in video fits nicely into the next part, which is about creating your premium one-to-one -one offer, your group immersions and your VIP days. You have to do that piece of the work first, otherwise it's just not going to make any sense. So today we're focused in on how to create your premium mentoring and group immersion and VIP days. Now this isn't as tricky as you think it might potentially be. It's not about creating three different offers with three different types of content. And I'll explain that a little bit later on. So creating your premium coaching one-to-one -one and your group immersions on VIP days is going to help position you as an A-list player. And also really important, if you're anything like me, client results are really, really important to me. They are sacred. It is what the, I am known for. When you become well known at getting clients results, that's when you step into becoming an expert on demand or in demand. <laughs> Before we get to creating your one-to-one -one premium program, let's just go back a sec and have a look at the messaging again. So I was doing some research yesterday on LinkedIn to bring to you some poor examples of messaging. Poor's probably not the right word, but they're not as strong as they could be, and they're a little bit misleading. So these messages aren't specific enough, and I think you'll agree with the formula it is that I've created and I shared with you yesterday, you can very quickly identify who the client is I work with, what the problems are, what the results I'm going to help them achieve, and how it is that I like to work. So you get a real sense of what it is that I'm about very, very quickly. So let's have a look then. Let's start with the... 
So these are some of the titles it is that I found yesterday from LinkedIn. So we firstly, we've got someone's put customer experience specialist, and then someone else has got sleep and dream coach. I've removed, oh, next one after that is business and personal performance coach. Head coach, I've just taken out the name of the company to protect that individual. Head coach, the name of the company, confidence coaching. That one's really confusing. Executive coach at tech consultancy. Yeah, I sort of get it, but I don't get it. Um, the transformation list. Now, the person who's written this is a very dear friend of mine and I know exactly what she does but to anyone else they'll be going uh the transformer list is that something to do with robots robots maybe no <laughs> it's definitely definitely not and the problem here as you can see is that they're just not descriptive and they are not specific enough to call in a list clients they really leave me asking more questions you know what types of businesses do they work with what size of companies is that what type of business coaching is it that they do what are the results it is that they help their clients achieve what is a head coach and why should that matter to me confidence coaching for what you know, confidence is, I always think, when we are coaching and mentoring our clients, that is, it's an add-on. It's not what the whole program is shaped about. It's what people will naturally get from working with you. But in this context, I'm less thinking confidence around what? Confidence coaching for what? What's that going to give me? Why do I even want to increase my confidence? So there are a lot of issues that can go on the front end of that message. Confidence can be one of the results. So an someone's put that they're an executive coach. Who does what for who? <laughs> Let me go back. That was an executive coach at Teach Consultancy teach not tech consultancy teach consultancy i'm still baffled by it as i said the problem is is that they're really not specific i don't know about you but if i am paying somebody to work with them i want to know that they are the expert that they can help me navigate through the challenges and the difficulties is it is that i'm experiencing and i can come out the other end to get a different result i want to know that somebody fully embraces what they believe in what they believe to be true so they fully own the message and i just basically need to know so much more before i would even consider working with somebody and if I don't get it within the first couple of minutes and it's all a bit vague, it's a big turn off for me. It is a big no-no. I like people to be really specific. Remember what I said yesterday about how people buy. They buy based on people they know, like, and trust. If your message is confusing, it's going to be very difficult for people to actually trust you because it's a lot you're not standing in as strong as what you believe in it feels a bit when i'm talking about messaging and i'm feeling that someone is a bit resistant to actually looking at their message and changing it that says there's a level of fear playing out for them around messaging and around wanting to niche and around getting results and really focusing in on working with a particular group of people, which I find very off-putting. Now, if I find it off-putting, other people are going to find it off-putting as well. So I've just touched on this a little bit, and that is the dilemma a lot of coaches experience because they're worried about getting too specific 
bringing it in to a specific group of people. They're genuinely worried about niching and the effect that that is going to have on people, that it's going to rule people out. Yes, of course it is going to do that. But in reality, it couldn't be further from the truth in some respect, because what it actually does is it opens the door for you to be able to find those people. It enables you to craft your messages, craft your programs in line with that specific group of people. So it's more enticing for them. Those people very quickly understand who you are and what you're about and what you can help them achieve. This is how you get known in terms of having really strong positioning and also becoming that expert in demand because you are focused in on going really deep around a particular subject rather than going way too broad and not being specific, not really focusing. Yes, you're helping people, but not really focusing in on working with people to get specific results. When you start working with people to get specific results, that's when the magic starts to happen. You get known for being the expert that helps their clients get results, just really what I have just said. People who do not have um, a clear message are going to find it really difficult, in fact, almost possible to explain confidently what it is that they do, why it is that someone should pay for them to work with them. Why should I hand over my money when you're not telling me how you can help me and some of the results I can expect to get coming out of the other side? Now, I know for people in the transformational space, because I've done the training, I've been there, I've worked with people for over the last 30 years, so I completely understand that you might be thinking, well, I'm coming at this from a person-centered approach, which means that basically I meet that person where they're at, and I don't promise them any results because they've got to do the work, and... Um, they lead the session, I don't lead the session. This is a very different way of managing how it is that you are delivering your service. It makes it a much easier sell. And there are strategies that you can put in along the way to ensure that your clients are gonna get the results it is that you have promised. Okay, yeah, why should I invest my money with you if you're not clear on your message? I find it a really big turn off if someone cannot articulate what it is that they do and they're really unconfident about it. When you're creating messages and offers, you must be able to confidently why you, why your services, what makes you different? Why you? Yes, I was thinking that's a bit dyslexic, Wendy. <laughs> you must confidently know why you, why your service and what makes you different. If you can't do this, they, someone will just move on to the next person. And the interesting thing is, is that that person might charge twice as much, three times as much, four times as much. But if they are able to articulate and show the value of what it is that they have to offer, that person is going to go with that other person. You're going to lose them because you're not being able to articulate your message. It's also important that you have proof to back your message up as well, to fully own it, to fully stand in it. We went into a great deal yesterday about looking at your A-list clients and you spent some time on identifying who it is you do not want to work with. Really important, get that written down. If you haven't done it, get it written down because there are a ton of people that I don't want to work with and I'm very clear about the people that I do want to work with. 
And if you don't write this down, it will impact on the message it is that you create. You also identified possible groups of people it is that you can work with. This might be past clients, you know, practice clients. It could be organizations that you've worked with then. You created a list of potential people that you could work with. Then you thought about your A-list clients and who are they? Who's your A-list client? Who would you met bet a million bucks on? To say, yep, that person is exactly the right person that I want to work with. I would bet my money on that they will absolutely achieve and get the results it is that I want them to be motivated to get. So you picked out your A-list client it is that you're going to shape your message around. Then you looked at creating your elegant marketing message. Okay, so I know this is an awful lot for you to get your head around because the truth is what I'm asking you to do is to take that depth and breadth of knowledge and expertise and bring it right down into a succinct message which can actually be quite challenging and it's challenging because you're so close to your business it's on the end of your nose it's quite difficult for you to see what needs to go in that message to enable you to really step up and to play a bigger game and to think about the clients it is that you really want to be working with but don't worry i absolutely have your back i've absolutely got you covered and what i've done is i've created my ignite impact group immersion and i'm not going to go into that detail now what i will do is i will put the information on the page where you can watch the replays so you can watch the replay and browse over the information at the same time in your own time rather than using this time so here are eight short eight sure signs that your message is costing you clients okay first one we all know this one you keep calling in time wasters people who potentially possibly are not motivated to do the work you know they turn up for a session and they haven't done anything and they've got an excuse and you always feel like you're going backwards with them people who keep saying no to your offers when you get them on a phone call when you're out networking when you are selling your offers people you just keep hearing that no i can't afford it or it's not the right time i don't have enough time let me ask my husband you know it's a sure sign that your message is costing you clients and here's another great one your message doesn't light you up it's a bit eh, a bit flat a bit like oh god do i have to say it again <laughs> It's a bit like, mm, even I don't like it. <laughs> you struggle to tell people exactly what it is that you do. We've all been there. I remember when I first started networking, I was so terrified. I wrote my um, message on the inside of my hand. I was so nervous. And then every now and again, I'd go to the ladies' room and I would just look at my hand and I would read it and memorize it because I was so nervous. But that is a combination of confidence and also a sure sign that my message is going to cost me in the long run. So people keep saying no. It speaks to... It, oh, yeah. It speaks to everybody and doesn't speak to a particular person so people keep saying no because they just can't get their head around it people just don't get it they just don't get your message and you know when you're networking and you say what it is you do you can almost see people walk backwards as they're like hmm? and they're not doing it out of curiosity to find out more about what you do they're more like 
uh, okay, <laughs> moving on swiftly. <laughs> For people who join the Ignite group immersion, we're going to work one-to-one -one on your message so you can finally get it nailed once and for all. Charging based on results moves you away from charging by the hour and offering short-term programs and offerings. And this is really great news because it means that you don't need a high volume of people. So you're not going to need the same volume of people to make, to increase the profit in the business. If anything, it goes the other way around. And that's great news because it also means that it makes the business more profitable, it means that you can take more time off, it means that you can, you know, stop the endless hustling it is that you've been doing, and you can really have some breathing space to think about taking the business to the next level. It means that you can also work with your clients for longer periods of time, and you can start creating programs and packages that are highly profitable rather than offerings that just keep you in the grind they're just barely keeping you surviving or you've hit a certain income level in the business and you can't seem to break free and get past it it's because you're in the hustle and the bustle and the grind of the business and it's become really hard work finally stop hustling you can slow down help more people, take more time off, and finally, find the time to do the things you love. Now, I know we are in the world of COVID, and a lot of us have found ourselves slowing down. But for when life gets back to normal, which it will at some point, <laughs> a lot of people have woken up and said, actually, I don't want to be doing it this way anymore. I don't want to be hustling. I don't want to be running left, right and center. I don't want to just be, you know, scraping by. I actually want to now look at how I can do things differently in the business. I'm going to talk about pricing tomorrow so make sure you turn up for tomorrow's session you're not going to want to miss out on that because pricing is plays a pivotal role in creating a premium offer that's a whole different subject <laughs> okay so i can give you so many examples of the women it is that i've worked with over the last couple of years who have increased their fees and absolutely nailed it they've got it and these are all women who have been over delivering under charging and have stepped up and stepped into offering their signature program at a premium price and absolutely nailing it and getting it so Steph basically went from charging £250 an hour and giving her time for free a lot of the time to increasing her fees to 3500 within the matter of, I think it was about, if I remember correctly, I think it was about five weeks, she enrolled five clients. So from £250 to nearly 10000 in a very short period of time. Shireen, she was charging £75 an hour. She increased her fees in her signature program, which took her up to £2,500. And I believe she has also, I spoke to her recently, she has increased them again, even during COVID times. Um, Shamshad, she went from £50 an hour. Well, actually, that's not true. It wasn't £50 an hour. It was £50, I think, for people to join her um, group program. So it would have been £50 for a group program, which she was finding very hard to fill. She increased her fees to four figures and she had a client in literally three weeks of us starting to 
work together. Caroline, she had a suite of offers. None of them were selling particularly well, apart from this one, which was $97. She created her signature premium program and started charging 3,500 and guessing it. How awesome is that? You can very quickly turn things around once you understand what all the moving parts are. And yesterday we, talk, we spoke quite a bit about growth mindset, about stepping into you know, the business it is that you want to create. So once you have your elegant marketing message, you can then move on to creating your premium mentoring, coaching, one-to-one -one program, your group immersions and your VIP days. It's that foundational piece needs to be in place first before creating your offers. That's what's gonna help you position you as a top layer, top level player who gets her clients epic results. So you're always in demand. Your message creates the foundation of the business. These are the people and the organizations it is that you are going to be working with. It's the results and the people it is that you're going to get known for specializing in. Once you've found out exactly what it is that they want, you can then go to work. You can then start working on creating a suite of premium offers. So a suite of offers is your premium signature program, your group immersion, and your VIP days. So that is a suite of offerings, a suite of products and programs, VIP days, that all sit together. They are produced from the same content. I'll explain that a little bit better later on. <clears throat> I've seen so many people make this a fatal mistake that they haven't asked people what it is that they want. Now, obviously, it has to be done in context. It has to be in line with your message and who it is that you work with and the results it is that you help them get. So you know what your expertise is. You know exactly how it is that you are going to be helping people. But you still need to check in and ask people what it is that they want. It's critical. And I see so many people doing this, not actually checking out what it is that people want. Even when they do the research in terms of um, questioning people, they actually forget to ask people what it is that they want and then they make the assumptions they know what it is that people want. <laughs> Sound familiar? <laughs> so you have to take the time to ask people what it is that they want from you as a service. And I said, it's got to be in context with your elegant marketing message because that is your personality, your expertise. There's a lot of work. There's a lot of thought that has gone into creating that message. And most of the time, people will just guess. And nine times out of ten, in fact, I would say all of the times, it's going to be wrong because you're guessing at something that may not resonate with your audience and that is going to be a massive mistake if you want your offer to fly off the shelves and how have people reach out to work with you so it sounds like hotcakes then you absolutely have to do some market research there's a quick and easy way that i show my clients how to do that and i'm going to take my activate clients through that process and support them on that journey to help them find out what it is exactly what people want. But as I said, I'm not going to go into that now. I'm going to put the information on the page where you can get access to it. Recently, I was working with a client who was really drawn to A description of a particular program that she wanted to bring together. Now, 
it isn't that I wasn't sure about it. It's that, you know, I'm not her audience. I'm not her ideal customer. So I said to her, you know, test it with the other ones it is that you have created and see what the results are. And let's see which one it is that people are drawn to the most. What is it that they want the most? So she tested the market, she came back and the one that she really loved actually came in last. <laughs> so can you imagine if she'd gone ahead and she created that program with the description she wanted to use, it wouldn't have sold. And you know, it's not that she needed to change the whole program because she didn't. This is just a play on words and what people are attracted to because your expertise, your knowledge and your wisdom, you cannot change that. That is, yes, you can learn new skills, but it's pretty much fixed. So it's about making sure that what you're offering your audience is in line with your message. It is literally just to play on words. You will be delivering on the same results. It is just finding out what language people are drawn to and then you can shape your program in line with which one it is that they have picked. Once you're clear on what it is your audience, what, once you're clear what your audience wants, then you can start to create your one-to-one -one premium signature program. Now, let me just talk to you about what a signature program is. A signature program is your very best program. It is the best program you have ever created that is designed to get specific results for your client group. It basically creates the whole foundation of your business. So you have your message, which is beautifully crafted, it calls in exactly your alias clients, tells them exactly how you work, who you work with, what the challenges are, and then you create your signature program in line with that message. But what you do is you test the market first to see what it is that they're going to be drawn to. And then you create your signature program. Your signature program is the best program it is that you could possibly create. You'll see signatures, you know, you have signature dishes. Lots of people call, you know, their, their elite services will have signature than the name. I mean, we don't put signature in the name, but, you know, this is how I like to describe it because this is your very best work. You just give people exactly what it is that they need, nothing else, not tons of other stuff that they're never going to use, but you just give them the, the pieces of the puddle puddle, puzzle, <laughs> that they need to bring it all together. And the reason why I like to start here is because your signature program helps you to quickly shape your next two premium offers. So you start with a signature program. Um, there are actually 19 other ways that you can leverage a signature program but we are just focused in on the top three because they are some of the most lucrative. I was going to say they are the most lucrative, but that isn't necessarily true. But they're the easiest to create quickly. Your group immersion and your VIP days, you want to think of your one-to-one -one premium signature program as the foundation, as I've already mentioned that you can create your other offers from. It creates the foundation of all your other business offerings. And here's the nice thing about working one-to-one. -one. I believe that if you cannot sell your premium signature program one-to-one, -one, then it's not gonna sell as a group program either because you haven't tested the market, you haven't taken people through the process to really understand what is it I need to tweak, what is it I need to adjust, what sort of results people are getting. You haven't got enough evidence to think about actually making it into a course or an online program. 
yes, people do beta tests of courses, but your signature program is so much more than that. So it creates the foundation of your business offerings. So when I work with my Ignite one-to-one -one clients, we work through the signature program process of how to bring it together step by step. It takes three months for me to complete with a client. And it's for those people who really prefer to work one-to-one -one rather than you know in a group setting. So this is what makes su sales super profitable when you are working this way and why it cuts down a lot of time and energy for you. And that is because your signature program and your group immersion and your VIP days are the same content. So you're not having to recreate a whole program, a whole offering. So your signature program, you will work with your clients for three months over a period of time, taking them step by step through the process, having their back, making sure that you know, you're holding them accountable to the tasks it is that you want them to do. And then for people who don't want to work with you one-to-one, -one, you can then offer them the group immersion, which is normally half the price with half of your time removed out of the group immersion. In most cases, most of my clients work with me one-to-one -one because they like the intimacy of the relationship. They like me to really help them get under the skin of them and the business to take it to the next level. But, you know, if you're on a sales call and you're talking to somebody who would rather go into group, to a group, get the support of a group, that is fine. You then just offer the group. It's exactly the same material, exactly the same content. It's just delivered in a different way. I'll talk about the structure of VIP days in a second, not to confuse the, t the first two premium offers, which are your signature program and your group immersion. So as I said, it is exactly the same program. The main difference is, is basically about the amount of time it is that you are going to spend with the people in each offering. As I said, my clients like to work with me predominantly one to one. So That's your first two offer. Yeah, so that's your first two offerings. It is the same content, just delivered slightly differently. So the amount of one-to-one -one calls you have will be different. The accountability calls will be different. How you're holding the clients accountable will be different. It's got a different twist on it. But I like to call my group programs group immersions because I do give a lot of support even in my group programs. I'm not a fan of online courses. So the group immersion is not an online course. That's not what it is. Now what you want to do is focus on creating your VIP days. Again, the content is already created. Your audience has already been identified. Your message is clear. The signature program has been carefully designed to deliver on results. And it's created with specific results in mind. So it's designed in such a way that your clients are achieving results as they're working with you in each session. So each week, they will be moving one step closer to the results it is that they want. So they are getting results every week. They are achieving things every week. In my Oh, I think my microphone's turned over. Hopefully you can still hear me, otherwise I'm going to be, I forgot what the word is, ab living to myself. Okay, as I said, your offers, you work backwards. 
you know, what are the results it is that your clients want. Once you understand what the results it is that they want, you can then figure out how you're going to help them to get those results. So you've tested the market, you know what it is that people are attracted to, you have created the description and the name of your signature program. Now, what you want to do is you want to write down everything it is that you can do to help that individual get the results it is that they want to achieve. So make a list of everything that is going to help them to move the needle. You know, exercises, things that you can talk to them about, um, training that you can give them. Identify what they absolutely need without fail to help them on that journey. And creating a signature program is really about a journey. It's about each step of the journey to help them get those results. A signature program is really about you saying, right, we're going to work together. I'm going to have your back. I'm going to hold you accountable. I'm going to really challenge you. I'm there for you. We're going to do this together. Of course you can't, I know you're probably, some people will be saying, oh, but I can't do the work for the person. But I have a rule. <laughs> this is my rule. <laughs> and I give you permission to adapt it. I Not adapt it, I give you permission to use it. And that is, if my clients come to me in a couple of sessions and they haven't done the work and they haven't got a really good reason for it, I fire them. Because the people that I want to work with are highly motivated. And if someone's just not doing the work, can be lots of reasons why people aren't doing the work, but if someone's just not doing it and they are wasting your time, I fire them. Now, I've only fired one client in my whole career of mentoring and coaching. One other person has come particularly close, but if you say that to people at the beginning and you make it part of your intake process, they sit up, they pay attention. They are much more alert. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say here is that, you know, with a signature program, you're basically saying, these are the steps that I know work. We're going to go through these steps. And if you miss a step, it could be make or break. So let me give you an example. I know that you 100% need a message to be able to create your signature program. You need to be able to set a good price to be able to sell confidently. So there are three different moving parts there that I know I absolutely 100% have to deliver on. Non-negotiable. Those parts are non-negotiable, otherwise they're not going to get the results. If they don't get the results, that's my reputation on the line, and I'm not prepared to sacrifice that. For So, I mean, there are lots of things you can do. You can adapt your training. You can spend extra time with somebody. Remember, a premium signature program is about having your clients back and doing the right thing by them. So if they're not getting something, you know, just put a little bit of extra time in with them to make sure that they you can help them get it. It might be that you need to explain something differently. But my point is here is that while it's a collaborative relationship between the two of you, there are some moving parts that you absolutely have to insist that they do. Might mean that you need to shape it a little bit differently, but ultimately you are going to need to be in the driving seat of your program to help your clients step into and get them those results and I always say to my clients if you haven't done your homework I want you to um, still come to the call and we're going to explore exactly why it is that you haven't done it and I think even that <laughs> is enough for people to just do it <laughs> okay so you draw up a list of everything it is that you can possibly think of that you can use to help that person get the results. 
Now, you are undoubtedly going to have too much. You're going to have too many exercises. You're going to have too many things because you've got a depth and a breadth and a wealth of expertise it is that you can share with your clients to help them get those results. So what you need to do is just get a highlighter and just highlight which ones are the most powerful. Which ones do they absolutely have to have? Now what you can do with all the others is you can just keep them as a backup in case you want to use them as a resource, as a tool. If someone's not getting something, if they've got a different learning style, you can then call on those additional resources if what you've got in your signature program isn't necessarily working. But you're going to have a ton of information that you can pull for, from to use in the creation of that program. So think of your signature program as like a flow of learning. Now, it's going to be in some weeks you're going to be moving forwards. And in some weeks it's going to feel like they're moving backwards. And that's perfectly fine. The thing is, you have a deadline with your clients to work through. And it's important that you keep an eye on where they are in the process. So what I do is if someone's stuck with something and they're still maybe doing the research, that's not them being stuck, but they've still got to um, get all the data in from the research, we still keep moving forward because we've got a deadline to move towards. And then we will catch up with the bit that they're still working on and bring it into a session further ahead. So we're still moving forward. We're not keeping them stuck in a place. I think that's the difference between, you know, real pure coaching and therapy. You wouldn't do that if you were coaching, purely coaching and doing therapy. This is much more of a combination of, you know, using a variety of skills with your clients, mentoring, coaching, a bit of therapy if you have the qualifications, you know, it's a mixture of different tools that you use from your experience to move them forward. But you're in the driving seat here. Your signature program, you need to believe in it, you need to own it, and really help them navigate the mindset that is playing out for them. Some of the negative, some of the stinking thinking that is playing out for them. Now, there are several ways that you can bring your signature program together. So I'm just going to go over two of the ways that you can do this, which are probably the easiest to explain doing it this way. So you can either cover a different step a month. So my program splits down in two. So I run it over three months. And that's what I would encourage you do, to do, to run that program over three months. And in month one, we identify the message, who the client is, what the offer is. So that's month one. And then month two, we create it, create the signature program, create the group immersion, create the VIP days in the second month. And then in the third month, it's all about teaching my client how to sell it once they have created, how to confidently sell it. So we've got month one, month two, month three, beginning, middle, and an end. Beginning, middle, and an end. I'm repeating that because this is the journey. This is the flow. We're st you know, the result is ultimately that they are going to have premium clients by the time they finished working with me. That's the result. But we have to start with identifying who those people are, what the message is, who's that person, who are they within their business. You then need to create the offer and then sell it. Now this makes it very easy to sell, very easy to sell because people can see that there's a there's a deadline there's a time frame right we're going to be working towards this these are the results that i'm working towards 
They know exactly what direction that they're heading in. If you've got a very vague message and a vague offer, it's not going to be easy to sell because people just don't know what they're buying into. It's going to be even harder to sell with everything that is going on now. So this makes it very easy to sell. It also makes it a lot easier to sell in the sales conversation. What is it? The cat has arrived. <laughs> okay, so that's one way of doing it. So you would have a workbook for each month. And then you would take that person through the steps. Now, here's the other thing about working this way is that you could be experiencing burnout within your business, overwhelm, you know, you're having to create different packages for different people, you're having to put a different spin on it every time, which is just time consuming, and it is co it's a costly use of your time, is that once you've created these workbooks, you are taking people through exactly the same process. You're just adapting it to their personality and their learning style. So you're not having to recreate. You'll literally be able to run your program with your eyes closed. Not that I would encourage it. Um, but all the content is created. You don't have to keep recreating. That saves you an incredible amount of time. And this is how you start again to get the hours back in your business. Now, the second way you can bring your signature program together, this is your one-to-one -one coaching and mentoring and training program. It is that you're going to deliver with your clients, is that you can split it into three again, but then you can split it down into two modules a month. So, okay, I've got identify the, I've got identify, create, and sell. So we've got, those two things are the wrong way around, but the first one should be message to A-list clients, and then identifying who it is, not who it is, what it is that people want. So you've got, the overall identify for the month, and then you've got two workbooks within that month to make it manageable, more manageable, a bit easier to digest for people. And then the same in month two, and then the same in month three. So what I do with my Ignite clients when I work with them one-to-one -one is we go through this in great detail. So we look at the structure of the sessions, what's do they need to take people through step by step to help them get to the get the results? So we go into it in much more detail, but I wanted to give you an example of how we start to bring that offer together. This is exactly the same content for the group immersion. As I said, it's just delivered differently, a different price, but the content is exactly the same so the premium one-to-one -one is about that person having the relationship with you and you being there to support them 100 percent and the group immersion is much more about them working with a collective of other people you still have their back and give them a high level of support it's why it's called a group immersion but you know one is 15 hours and the other might be seven hours, seven and a half hours. That's, that's the difference in terms of time. Once you've created um, this outline, then it becomes really easy to bring together a number of VIP days from your signature program because it creates the foundation of the business. So let's just go back here. Okay, so... Each step or month, month one, month two, month three, can be created into individual VIP days. In fact, you can do, you can do quite a lot of things <laughs> once you've created this. Is that, you know, I can run a whole day on sales. I can run a whole day on business messaging. I can re run a whole day on creating your business signature so once you have the foundation you know what the stepping stones are you can then 
create VIP days very easily because the content is already created. You know your content inside out. What you need to be mindful of when you're creating VIP days is that it's going to be a very different type of client who wants to, in my case, up level very quickly. So they don't want all the detail. They just want the framework of how to do it. So that's how it makes it really easy for you to create your premium offer, your coaching and mentoring premium one-on-one -on -one offer, your group immersions and your VIP days. Who would have thought it would be as easy as that? <laughs> okay, so tomorrow we're gonna to take a look at how to energetically set your pricing and sell with confidence every time. This is a massive stumbling block for lots of women. So we're gonna hit this head on because that's what I do. <laughs> How you can look at instantly increasing your income, giving you the freedom to make more, take more time off and enjoy life once again. Until then, if you've got any questions, pop them below the video. That would be awesome. But until then, I will see you tomorrow.